When I speak about levels of law, those spiritual laws are the ones that are given to us by the Creator. They're sort of unalterable primary laws. And then those get articulated through, through nature, the um, interrelations between natural beings that we can observe and from which we take our instructions. We actually look to our older brothers and sisters, all of the things that were placed in creation before us. Because uh, Anishinaabe will say we're the last to be put on earth, right? Um, and we have this complex web of relationships and, and different agents uh, around us from which we can uh, observe and try and understand how we should be governing our interactions and relationships amongst each other. And from there, you know, we, ha we have that understanding of spiritual law and, and how natural law builds itself, it articulates itself, it re-articulates itself, it changes over time. And we sometimes can presume that based on, on natural law that things will always be the same. Um, and there's, there are historic understandings that natural law uh, is not as dynamic as it actually is. But in a changing world and a changing environment, we have to be responsive and understand um, that natural law and, and its evolution over time and how it affects and changes our customary legal practices and then our human legal interactions around that. And when we look at other legal systems, they generally are existing in that last framework of human law. Right? If we look at regulations of, uh, of governments, of, of municipalities, of, of um, uh, exercises of law made in a Western context, those are really at that last level of human decision making that have to be informed by customary natural and spiritual law. And we often forget that. We think that the human law is the most important part. What indigenous legal systems are telling us is it's the reverse. Get over yourself as humans and start living that law that's gifted and given that we get from all of these different layers of law and use that to inform your agency and decision making in a way that's principled and taking into account that whole web of interconnectedness with our natural environment and the beings around us.